previously on Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. No! Oh Makeover Day brought dramatic changes. Look, I've got a carrot on my head. The girls felt the pressure at a prison photo shoot. I don't know, it's just a lot tougher than I thought it, thought it would be. And after an emotional elimination... I don't want to go home. It was Penelope who got the chop. Bye, Julie. Bye. 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 This week, the competition puts a strain on relationships between some of the girls. I'm sorry if I offended you, but yeah, you, did, you, did, you did offend me once again. If you're going to have an opinion or something, you can at least wait until I'm out of earshot. The wannabe models have to man up in a race against the clock. Five minutes starting now. That's good. And at elimination, things get personal. Uh, someone you want to hang out with on a, on a long photo shoot? Nah, not really. for me. I got photo of the week. You look hot. Awesome. I think I have deserved it. I put a lot of energy into that photo shoot. Yay! Everyone except Roxanne and Maddie are getting along. I know. <sighs> I had an argument with Maddie because she was just being an idiot. I said to Emma throughout the whole elimination, your picture is stunning. Yeah. Oh my God, Emma. She could have been the photo of the week. I thought I was like, you can't yeah. say that because I got it. I'm sitting right here. Roxanne has a little earring problem. She keeps on hearing me badly. It's rude. Maddie, I you can't say that. I'm sorry if I was rude. I thought you should wait until I'm not in the room. Don't say it right in front of me. Well, I'm sorry if I offended you. Yeah, you did. You did offend me once again. If you were going to have an opinion or something, you can at least wait until I'm out of earshot. And she really pissed me off. Because that's the second time that I've offended her. I don't know why she gets easily offended, this girl. But you have to know that I'm French. We're not known to keep things to ourselves. She just thinks it's OK that because she's French, but she's not stupid, she knows what she's saying. Oh, she gets on my nerves. I can't stand her. I really don't care about this girl. I don't care about this girl at all. She's not that important to me. I do feel for Madeleine a little bit because she's very different to us. She's quite tactless with what she says. I don't think she actually means to be rude. It's just the way she is. I think Roxy's quite opinionated as well. They both just need to keep away from each other, really. Hi, girls. Modelling is tough. You have to overcome your insecurities and embrace who you are, flaws and all. Tomorrow morning, be ready to tell the world you're proud of who you are. Love, Elle. Oh, no! I feel like it's going to be talking this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. But, like, nude. <laughs> <laughs> you could be doing a photo shoot, you could be doing a challenge, challenge. you could be naked, it could be speech, it could be... We're actually you're just kind of a clueless, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe flying to a spaceship and talk to aliens about our secret... Uh, and securities, I have no idea, man. Today we went to a school. I'm a freak, I loved school. Um, I absolutely hated school, I was always in trouble. Come on, ladies, take a seat. Welcome back to school. I'm image consultant Vernon Francois. Hi. As a model, it's important to be honest and open and true to who you are. So your challenge for today is to write your insecurities on a t-shirt. But it doesn't end there. You're going to be standing up in front of 200 pupils explaining to them why you chose this as an insecurity. So make sure it's true to who you are. I can't talk in front of big crowds. I'm like the worst person to do that. Smile. <laughs> this is all about being a role model being inspirational and being inspiring. I was just hoping that I could relate to at least one of the 200 students. Let's get going. 
let's do something really, really inspiring. I have so many insecurities and I've just got one word to put on a t-shirt and I was just like, I want to cover the whole t-shirt with all these words everywhere. But I couldn't do that, so I was just like, I think it all just starts off with physical insecurities. Kelly found it really difficult to make her a t-shirt because she's such like a positive person. Talking about things that are negative I think makes her quite sad. I didn't know what she wanted to say but I knew that she was finding it difficult just to pick like one word that summed it up. The other girls seem like it's completely not affecting them. They're super happy and confident and then I'm like what the hell is wrong with me? It's like really really scary. Like it's a hard thing to do to think of stuff like to, to share. Say what comes to you. Just say it. I can be shy sometimes. Shy. Shy? Yeah. Why are you shy? I don't know. I want you to think about the reasons why you're shy, not just shy. Because yeah. that can accomplish so much of this stuff. I was so nervous just seeing all of their faces staring at you. You were like, oh my god. I was just looked around and I was just like, this is more than 200. When I went backstage, we saw Alad from Radio One and he was really nice. He was a really nice guy. Hi. I know how tough it is to deal with some of these issues. And I know some of the hardest audiences are children. Um, but they're great. I've been out there and you look amazing and you're going to feel so much better when you've got this off your chest today, I guarantee it. I'll be out there with the kids, so just look at me if you need me right. and uh, good luck with it, all right? And I was just like, oh, thank you. I'll have one smiley face at least in the audience. Thank, thank you. you. See you out there. Thank you. Oh, it's scary. Sometimes it's these small things that happen to you yeah. that make you a bigger person. So really, really harness this time that you have and you may have made a difference to somebody today because of your insecurity that they had. You ready? I'm the police. Hello, you. My T-shirt is my nose. <laughs> when I got to the microphone, I realised my face went boom red. It was so big, and I used to have long hair. I used to hide behind it. Talking away, realised I forgot to breathe. <laughs> it used to be like a weakness, but I think now it's a strength. <laughs> Coming up, all the girls come face to face with a model gentleman in a race against time. You only have five minutes to get your best shot. Starting now. And at elimination, the judges battle it out. Oh, you don't have to be that personal about it. I'm not being personal. Yes, guys. you are. Too competitive. My t shirt it says short fuse. As you can see, my top says shy. It's not worth punching people in the face, it's not worth getting angry at people. I find it really hard to kind of open up to people, you know. I worry all the time about what people think of me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I've always felt second best. And my t shirt says misunderstood. I have no confidence. In secondary school, I was bullied a little bit, I had bad skin. You need to just be who you are and represent yourself rather than try and be something that you're not. I was brought up in Ukraine, it's next to Russia, so I always felt like I was the odd one out. Being yourself is the most amazing thing in the world. So, love yourself, be cool, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so scared. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. Yeah, it was really hard to get up there and talk in front of all those children. It's just really, really like scary when you're actually talking about yourself. 
So, my t-shirt says, like when I was in school, I was a bit scared, lost and lonely. When you're young, it's such a confusing time. It's just really clicky in school and it's tough, it's really tough. I was always in trouble in school. I was all suspended, I had my nose pierced, I was coming with my makeup on. Once you grow up, you just realise that it's, it's okay to be who you are and it's okay to be scared. Don't, don't feel like you have to be a part of the crowd. It doesn't matter what shape or size you are. It's okay, just embrace who you are and it'll set you free. Okay, thanks everyone. I think at the end, it's like I confronted my 13-year-old self. In hindsight, I'm really glad I did it. It's almost like I'm coming into myself and I'm le letting go of the little shy girl inside of me and I'm growing into a woman. So guys, did you find that interesting? It was nice seeing that other people have the same problems as you. So you think you've learned anything today? Yeah. Beautiful women can have insecurities. And it's okay to be yourself. Yeah. I really thought you guys did really well. Thank you. Well done, girls, for today. It was tough, and I really felt for you guys. It was really, really <laughs> difficult. So I've arranged a little treat for everyone. Tonight, you are all going to have a big girls' night out. <laughs> girls night out. It's my first time out in London, so I'm so, so excited. I'm tired and I'm missing home a bit and I miss my daughter. It's kind of playing in my mind today a little bit. Hi, <laughs> baby. I can't wait to just get dressed up, go out, have a laugh, and forget about the competition for five minutes. Night out was amazing. <laughs> the rich people live well. It's, it's just the truth of it. Oh my goodness, me, Champagne. This is like being a celebrity, you know. London was stunning at night time. It was so gorgeous. The view, it was incredible. Yeah, so good. Cheers, everyone! I don't want it to ever, ever end, ever. You know when you feel down and you feel like, oh, I can't go anymore, you know, it's hard. Moments like this sort of just put you back. Push you, yeah. yeah. Gives you that little bit of strength to Definitely. make you carry on. Definitely. Food was good. Food was amazing. Food I've never even eaten before, and I eat. Whoa! Girls, the competition is getting tougher every day, and sometimes you just got to man up. Be ready to do it like a dude. dude. <laughs> a photo shoot tomorrow. Oh, I knew that. But for now, go and enjoy yourselves. Exclamation mark. Love. Oh. I knew that! Oh. I saw the man! Today I'm thinking, yes. oh my god, oh. we can definitely have a photo yes. shoot. I, I can oh. do that. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. oh. Everyone just kind of let loose because we don't kind of get out much. <laughs> Madeline was a great dancer. She completely let loose. <laughs> danced a lot. We just needed it. It was just blow off scene. We were partying way too much. Overdid it. It was good. We loved it. We thought that we'd kind of get a bit of a lion after the night out, but we had to get up at like 8 o'clock the next morning. Why can't I talk? You feel sick? Yeah. Hangover sick? Just sick. 
We went to this old building, like a gentleman's club. I didn't like it, it looked haunted. And there was all twisty stairs and old paintings on the walls. It was quite spectacular. <laughs> it's like, that's a dead man just staring at you. It's weird. I think it's quite creepy. I prefer modern stuff. So we walked into the haunted house. We um, saw Tyson, looking hot as usual. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the beautiful Oriental Club. Tyson. Tyson. But it was good to see him. My future husband. I usually treat you all like ladies, but today it's not going to happen. Hopefully, you're feeling chivalrous because today I'm going to have you tap into your inner dude. Today's shoot. We will be styling you as men. The challenge today is to channel your inner dude and retain your feminine charm. It's all about strength and beauty, ladies. What I didn't tell you, you only have five minutes to get your best shot. Man up, ladies. Go get styled. The feeling that most girls shared was confusion. I mean, why would anyone want us to be like a man? I'm hungover, so I'm feeling grumpy. And now we've got a photo shoot. I've just come to terms with how to model like a girl, and I have to model like a man. The whole five minute thing is freaking me out just because it does take me a while to like get into a photo shoot. Five minutes, like so many things in life are longer than this time frame. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's something my dad would wear because he always wears braces and shirts. Pressure's on, ladies. It separates the girls from the models. Don't overthink it. And we go. How are you doing? Hey. I'm Alex. Thank you. Hi, Letitia. Nice cool. Nice right. to meet you. Starting yeah. now. We don't look at guys for modelling. We look at girls to do modelling. Like some shoulders, going a bit stiff up the top there. I honestly had no idea what poses I was going to do. It's literally going thrown into a completely different situation. 30 seconds. That's it. Bit head back, a bit more lustful. Good, nice. It's very hard. It took me a while to get into it. Two more frames and we got this. Okay, that's it. Nice one. Her problem is that she's too sexy, but it works with this. I've never been a man yeah. before, kind of thing. Like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. It's actually quite difficult. Coming up, some of the girls struggled to do their best on the photo shoot. In this fight, she might have lost. I don't know if it's the pressure of the time. And the judges aren't impressed with all of the results. Look at your eye there. It, it looks cross-eyed. So you can do whatever you want. Five minutes starting now. That's cool. Oh, yeah, there you go. Maybe looking down this way. That's it there. That's good. It's women being sexy but dressed as men. So yeah, I guess I went on knowing what I was trying to get. Good, good legs. One minute left. This is good, nice. Yeah, that was good, the last one. I like that. I like this one. Nice to wear with. Yeah, really. Hi. Hi. Five minutes starting now. Great, great. I thought, oh yeah, it's gonna be easy. I'm just gonna stand there, you know, pull a couple of faces. Good. Look out, look out. Two minutes left. One. Looking away. Like, not your body, but you put your eyes. Put your but eyes then it was there. much harder because I kept on thinking, oh, I need to pose like a man. So I ran out of poses. She nailed them on 10 seconds. Flirt with me a bit. There you go. Very good. Sultry without coming across as a stroppy kid, you know? Yeah. And still a bit playful. It's really hard. If you're a girl, you can do all the mm, uh, yeah. you know. But if you're dressed as a guy, it's like good, lovely, fantastic. 
I definitely don't think I've given my best yet. Thank you, Kelly. We wanted a sort of sexiness. Right, yeah, she definitely was struggling with the sexy. Oh, you got to give me something sexier than that. Okay. I can kind of be like, just be like, you know, almost like, don't shoot me. <laughs> Looking a little bit cat in the headlights there. I've always had a problem with my eyes squinting. Um, I don't even know I'm doing it, but apparently I do it all the time. So I was trying this time not to do it at all. And they were like, you look like a rabbit in the headlights. Straight on is not a flattering look because you get a lot of crutch. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Trout, that's better. 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 Right now, I kind of think that I'm one of the weaker ones. That's it. Time's up. Good stuff. There's a shy girl posing there. Yeah, these are they're definitely shy girl. The vibes from the people before me were very negative. Everyone seemed to be quite unhappy with their photo shoots, which made me want to prepare more for mine. But then when I got in there, <laughs> it didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Remember now, the clothes are masculine, but you're not. <laughs> I was like, ah, what am I going to do? Yeah, better. Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Better. All right, two more frames. Time's up. She didn't come in as strong as I expected her to come in. It's a fight, but in this fight, she might have lost. I don't know, it wasn't the best. Because I thought he had to be quite masculine, but he told me that everything about me should be, like, still sexy. It's just my outfit that's masculine, yeah. so that really threw what? me off as well. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we got the brief wrong, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I just think that it's so silly to think what we thought, because... Why would they men? want us to look like men? Like, just yeah. think about it. <laughs> like, why? All right, five minutes now. Uh, Maddie, give me more sexy. Just a hint of a boob or something. There. Better, Maddie. That's time. She looks she quite doesn't... scary in some of them. Quite yes, menacing. she does, yeah. And go. Move around. That's nice. I wasn't intimidated at all. I was, I was excited. I wasn't even that nervous. That's it. I, mean, I wasn't doing masculine poses. Just because you're dressed like a man don't mean you have to act like a man, because then they would have just got men to do it. This is cute. Hey, Roxy, you've got, like, a minute left? I don't think you need it. Okay. Cocky greedy. All right, one more. Very good. Oh, she was good. Even our best girl didn't nail all the shots at four minutes. I had a minute left, and he's like, you don't need the extra in a minute, but you can have it if you want it. Oh, that's, that's really good. That's, that's sweet. Really yeah, good. that is good. Yep. All right. All right, see. I kind of was at an advantage that I was later in the day because I had heard that the whole look was manly, but we still had to be feminine. Time. All right. That's it. That was quick. You got it. I hope that I've done enough because I would really love photo of the week just for once. <laughs> like this kid just can, she can do anything. She's diverse. Get her an agent. She'd be working next week. Definitely. The whole thing is just nerve-wracking. Because, like, Tyson is a supermodel. I was super nervous. Okay, that's it. Yeah, there you go, Taz. Good. Chin down that's for you. It. All right, stop. Good stuff. I'm hoping that I won't be in the bottom two again. Because I feel like, I think two times in a row is enough. <laughs> her face has to get into character. Her yeah. body does, but yeah, her face Yeah, body doesn't. does. She's got the model body, but... You sure you haven't modeled before? He liked like some of my poses and he liked the fact I came in and I just did what I did. Oh yeah, that was good. Time! It's good to see different girls in the industry. What was your feedback? He just said this comment like, oh, are you sure you haven't modeled before? <laughs> Roxanne decided that we'd have a roast today, and then we kind of all decided to help. As you can see, my assistant over here has been. <laughs> 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 I, think this is, I think this is one. Chicken. It was 
first time we'd actually all sat down, all together, at a meal together, which was really nice. <laughs> Sitting at the table with everyone sort of made you feel better because you're away from your family and it made you feel closer to everyone. It's like Christmas time or something. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it's nice to feel united. So it was great. It's a shame it's elimination tomorrow. A few girls were really disappointed with their last photo shoot. You literally have no idea who's the weakest link. This is the first time in the competition that I'm really feeling the heat in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> we all sit down and we've got one of us being asked. <laughs> I do believe I deserve a place in the competition. They tried to send me home twice and I'm still here, so maybe they just want to keep me for a little while longer. It's bad that this is the first time we've ever sat down all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What a nice little dinner, though. Mm. This is lovely. To end someone's journey. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. House. Forever. Forever. <laughs> this is all I've got, really. I mean, I gave up my job and everything, and I just moved to London to try doing this. And if I don't come out of this well, I kind of feel like I've let myself down a little bit, and I don't want to have to move back to my mum's and have to sort of do what I was doing before. So, guys, here's for our last meal of being 11 people. Aww. Aww. Well, my shoot went well, so I'm happy, and hopefully I'll get photo of the week twice in a row. It's Judgment Day. Time for the models to confront their fate. So worried. Oh, my legs are shaking. <laughs> and find out if they'll get one step closer to the ultimate prize. This year, the winner of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model will begin her career living in style in a luxury suite in London. As well as a holiday to Dubai, courtesy of Atlantis, the palm and tour operator, Destinology. A contract with leading agency, Models One. A six-page spread and the cover of Company Magazine. A contract with Revlon to front their trend campaign in magazines, on TV and in over 1,000 stores across the country. And an international campaign with Miss Selfridge, which will feature in over 250 stores. The Britain and Ireland Next Top Model judges are... From America, male supermodel and actor Tyson Beckford. Fashion designer and style icon Whitney Port. Back are international British designer Julian MacDonald and leading the panel our supermodel head judge L. And joining the panel this week, one of the most prolific models in the world and the first supermodel to walk in both male and female catwalk shows. She looks so beautiful. Yeah. I look like you. <laughs> Andre Petchik. Time to find out who'll be leaving the competition. Here we are again for the third time in the elimination room. We're also here with our judges, you know them very well. And our guest judge this week is one of the most famous and talked about models of all time. He's worked for John Paul Gaultier, for Marc Jacobs, it's Andre Pejic. Okay, so I would like to start having a look at Jennifer. Let's have a look. You look like a beautiful boy. And speaking of beautiful boys, Andre? I love it too. I mean, I think, you know, the body looks long. It's a good pose. The face angle is amazing. Me and the photographer, we really love it. Easy to work with. Just a gem. Thank well, you. that's great feedback. Hello. Okay, Lisa, let's have a look at your shot. Gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> it's so quirky and so cute. You know, it's very young, it's very fresh, it's really sporty, it's active and it's alive. And it's great that, you know, your, your face can change. Andre. The pose is slightly awkward, but it's good. It's not too fashion, it's not too forced. Miss Anita, will you come forward? Let's have a look at your best shot. Look at your eye there. Can you see the way it's sort of stuck to the corner of your nose? It, it looks cross-eyed. I told her, make sure this week you don't squint, and she gave me... Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> like... I think the pose is great. I really love it. I love the way that you're using the umbrella. You really got to try to believe in yourself. Being a model is about being comfortable with doing a lot of different things. You've got to sort of become a chameleon. So there's just no room for discomfort. Time to pick up the game, be focused. 
Coming up, Julian is not easily impressed. Take away the clothes, the hair, mm -hmm. the makeup. Mm -hmm. There ain't much left. And the competition is over for one of the girls. <laughs> OK, picture of the week last week. Did you feel pressure this week? A little bit. I felt like I needed to bring it again. I was just trying to be confident. Mm, I have to say she thought she was the it. Really? You know? First of all, let's take a look at a shot. Yeah. And then the let's talk great. about it, OK? The shot was great. You look hurt. I am, because <laughs> I'm not cocky at all. I'm not a cocky person. OK, let's check out the shot. It's fierce. <laughs> This is my favourite so far. The body is amazing. The face looks chiselled. No, I think this is good. I think this works. She was great to work with as far as, you know, as, as a model. She just, you know, you just don't get any other personality. And I, I mean, I guess this is not top personalities, top models. So, I mean, as far as a model, she's a great model. Yeah, but as, as someone you want to hang out with on a, on a long photo shoot? No, nah, not really. Oh, Tice, that's, that's harsh. Just telling the truth. Harsh, harsh, harsh. You know, harsh. Tice, it's, you don't do have it, to be that all. personal about I'm it. I'm not being personal Yes, you are. I'm Nobody's not. asking you to spend time with her. Okay. Roxy, okay, look at me. You're good. I just didn't mean to come across that. that it's me. cool, baby. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you're nervous. I'm sure there's a lot of pressure. And when you're on No, that there was no pressure, nerves. There was no nerves but, whatsoever. But you can't speak for her. I was just trying to be more confident and come across like, because I'm always so nervous. I was trying to not be so nervous. So, Roxanne, but let's talk about the picture. The thing is, you know, the picture's absolutely incredible. You know, for the first time, you look like a top model. You look incredible. And you know what? You've got the look. I think the photograph's great. And I love your hair like this. And um, Tyson's going to get a spank on his bottom oh, later on. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Miss Rissy Cat. I'd love to have a look at your shot. Not a big fan of this. It doesn't say anything editorial or there's nothing fashion about it. I like the smug face that you have, but I think this styling is unfortunate for you. If anybody could pull off this kind of look, it should be you. But unfortunately, you just look like an average pretty girl in an average picture. OK. Next up, we have Emma. I think that's serious 80s supermodel to me. It's a little bit old school. Isn't it, it is old yeah. school, yeah. From a fashion designer's point of view, the clothes look amazing. You want to wear those clothes. And you look absolutely gorgeous. It looks Thank it's you. fantastic. I'm happy now. Really? Well done, Emma. Thank you. Thanks Good so week much. for you. Thank you. Taz. Well, let's have a look at your best shot. It just looks obvious, you know, at least if you're going to do that pose, you want to, like, pop the, the body in, in a really strong way. And I think way. you have a really great body, um, but it doesn't show through in this, in, you know, in this picture for some reason. The problem with you is, Taz, you're a, a little girl in, in a body of a huge, incredible model. The thing is, you need to put the two things together. And every week we save you because we see something in you, but it's not coming out. So... I don't know. Yeah. It's getting tough. And you're up next. Disappointing. Very catalog. Pouting overload. <laughs> and, you know, this should have been your week. You know what? It's as dull as dishwater. I could probably do a better job myself. You've just got there, stuck your hand on your hip and gone, mmm. It's bloody boring. I don't know, just being the last shot of the day. We tried our posing against the wall in the corner. It didn't work. And then, I don't know, I want to blame the room. I'm going to blame the room. <laughs> Miss Madeline, let's have a look at your picture. I love it. Your eyes look a little bit dizzy. Yeah. Um, there's something just like a little bit dazed and lost in there. Mm. But she's had her problems in the past of yeah. finding your angle, you know, two front on doesn't work for you, two chin up doesn't exactly. work for you, mouth open doesn't work for you, smiling oh. doesn't work for you. You know, you have quite a we, lot of we, stuff. We tried everything, but this you was the it. best, yeah. Okay. 
let's have a look at your best shot. <laughs> I love it. Do you like it? It's the coolest sexy I've seen. Mm -hmm. it, it, you can't teach this. She just went in and nailed it, you know? Yeah. Well, see, I, I disagree because uh, I don't find the picture masculine at all. Yeah. Now, the thing is, you're a gorgeous girl. The picture is great. You just look like a glamorous woman in masculine clothes in a gentleman's club with her hands up. Miss Kelly, what was the word on your T-shirt? I wrote, um, scared, scared, lost and lonely. Do you feel scared, lost and lonely today? Do you know what? It, it was only the day after um, that we went to the school. I really noticed kind of a, a release in me. It's like um, I kind of let go of the little girl in a way. Sometimes when we talk about the very things that we think nobody knows about us, it does yeah. sort of unhook that part and we're able to let go slowly over time yeah. so let's have a look at your shot it's the pants the pants are not great yeah i was almost ready to give you my pants i actually think your face looks beautiful you know i think that this is one of the softer photos that you've taken the thing is you're always going to come across challenges where you either love the clothes or you hate them mm -hmm. but the thing is as a model it's your job to make those clothes look Amazing. You should have turned your body to the side mm. so you're not front on. You should have angled your face more. But those are things you will learn as this journey takes you along. Anyway, thank you, Kelly. Girls, that was the last shot, and it is now time for the judges and I to deliberate. And when we come back, one of you will be going home. Okay, guys, first up, we're going to start with Jennifer. I love this. She's quirky, and I feel like she's really gaining confidence. She just took charge. Yeah. She basically just set the pace for everyone else. Leticia. She rocks. I love this photo. The picture's great. She's not one of my favorite girls. I don't think she would could have, like, a high-end career. Lisa. Gorgeous. I mean, I knew that she was going to do well. I think it's quirky and great. We just put her up there and then just let the girl work. Anita. She's there, she's present, but where's the strength? She's not your cup of tea, is she, babe? She just perhaps needs a couple of sugars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Roxanne. It was just the attitude she had. There was nothing wrong with the picture. She came in, she nailed it. It's just that there's something going on. I mean, she's worried about her daughter. She's it. finding I mean, it difficult to kind of be here and be away from her. She does look like a professional model yeah. in the picture. Yeah. And she answers the and brief the best. Yes. And in real life, I think, she looks like yeah. a model that could be working. I agree. Riscat. It was wrong for her and she didn't yeah. work it. You have to fake it to make it. The thing is, with Rissica, she's so confident. She really needs to work harder. And next up, we have Emma. Wow. She looks so hot. I mean, you look at this photo and you want to be her. I think Emma looks strong, confident, yes. modern. Tasman. She really had to wow us this week because of her track record, and she simply just did not do that. The personality and the body doesn't go together. You are right on with that. No, it doesn't no. translate. No. Completely different person in real life. It was really one of the tough shots of the day. What about Anne? Such a disappointment. Yeah. Now, Anne just looks bored in the picture mm -hmm. because she looks bored. Mm -hmm. I'm super bored. <laughs> she's not rocking it. Right. No. Madeline. She's better in photos than she is in real life, but just not one of my favorites. When you take away the clothes, the hair, mm -hmm. the makeup, mm -hmm. there ain't much left. Well, that's what <laughs> happens to me. You take away the clothes, the hair, the makeup. <laughs> okay, last and maybe least, I don't know, Miss Kelly. The picture definitely isn't the best. She's a high-end model, you know, she's more specific. And I think her face is her strong point, but I think, do think she needs to work on her body and then learn how to work it in photos. Okay, guys, I think we've made a decision. I have 11 really beautiful models before me and as you know unfortunately I have only 10 photographs in my hands and these 10 photographs represent the girls who are still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. Now this week for picture of the week it's a tie between Emma Hi. congratulations on picture of the week Thank you very much. well done. Thank you. And Roxy. 
this is truly one of your best photographs. So well done. Thank you. Thank well done. You well done. Oh my God. Joint pictures of the week. Leticia. This is a great image. Thank you. Lisa. The judges and I loved oh, this image of you. you. Well I, done. I, thank you. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Anita. You look so worried up there. No, but this is good. Thank you. Thank it's got redeeming qualities. <laughs> Madeline. It's a really good angle on your face. Thank you. And the next person I'm going to call is Kelly. Miss Rissy Cat. Thank you. Will Taz and Anne please step forward? As you know, I have just one photograph in my hands, and this photograph represents the girl who's still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. Now, the name of the girl I do not call, must leave immediately. So Taz, this is your third week in the bottom two. And it's always for the same reason. It's because we see so much potential in you and it just isn't translating in your photographs. And Anne, you're here because we have such high expectations from you. And again, we don't see you taking steps forward. It's almost like you're sliding back. So, who stays? And congratulations, you are still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. Well done. And Taz, you've done a great job. Yay! Yay! Oh, was it scary? Oh, it was just like horrible, in fact, like, Taz is now going up. It's been a really good experience. I don't regret anything. I know that I did my best. Um, I'm going to miss all the girls. They're really nice. Oh, you're going to be by yourself. I'm so chuffed. I know. Next time on Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. The challenge leaves some girls speechless. I know it. Sorry. That was a disaster. The models head to the fashion capital, Paris. Can you believe that if we became like successful models, we could be here? And a familiar face makes a surprise return. Oh my god! Oh. Next week, music superstar Rihanna is giving 12 wannabe British designers the chance to design her an outfit. It's like The Apprentice meets Britain and Ireland's next top model. Style to rock next Tuesday at 9. And at 8.30, it's our first homegrown comedy based on the minefield of social politics at the school gates. A smooth cat.